day, a far day, and that's just the best flying there is. I think everybody's pretty excited. I mean, yesterday was like, well, really as good a day as we get in the White Mountains, and it was just real magic. I think. It got really high and all had a good time, and today looks the same, so I think they're pretty excited about it. Anyone excited or what? <laughs> 41 people made goal yesterday. Let's hear it for you guys. Probably going to have some wins down low. Um, <coughs> models are a little bit confused, mm -hmm. but uh, I think today's going to be a day that you guys get high and stay high. All right, so the task. Uh, distance 149.7. Race to goal. Task number four. Close again. Please, please, please just fly safe. Give yourself space between you and the ground. I just want to see you at goal. All right. So basically, we're starting starting uh, north of us, heading back to the south, crossing the valley all the way over to the Sierra side. Which I've never um, flown there. That which place yeah, we beautiful. haven't been over there yet. Um, this comp, and and then we're actually going to do a long transition back across the valley, just north of Bishop, um, and then another into the wind leg. This is the first day that Gaggle's gotten up really high off the launch to start with. So there's not as much of a rush as there normally is. But regardless, it always is a good day to get up early and start early. So that's my plan. Matter of fact, I got a spot right now. challenges we face with a big competition like this is managing the retrieval of all the pilots and that's what this new Bowerbird software system does for us. At the end of the day the entire board will go green and that means that every pilot is safe, their location is known, and the competition is over. One of the great tools for retrieve we have is the live view of the race that comes on XC Find and for our pilots who are flying with DeLorme devices we get accurate elevation data with each status update, and that allows us to stage vehicles when we see them starting to get low. We know, oh, we can send retrieve out there and put some resources in the field near them. So we put live tracking in each of our vans so we know where our retrieve resources are deployed around the valley. The valley winds have picked up, so it doesn't look like any of the pilots are going to make it into goal today, unfortunately. Because most pilots aren't making goal today, that means they've all landed out on the course uh, short, so that's going to make it really difficult for the retrieve drivers. They're going to be busy for the next couple hours. It was a lot of hard work. I think a lot of people got stuck. Uh, right before black and then just strong southeast right over black that made it really uh, sketchy. And then, uh, long glide out, lots of sink all the way out and 25 to 30 kilometer hour winds out of the southeast so that's not a lot of fun to fly in. Uh, 
All right, we're here at goal. Uh, there's only one pilot left in the air, Mitch Riley. We weren't sure what uh, Mitch's status was. We we're having a hard time confirming it. So I sent him a text to see if he landed and he actually texted me back saying that uh, he was busy flying the task. <laughs> so today's what, day four? Day four. Right? And um, Fourth day in a row. We tried something different today and we tried to do a big triangle. And I picked up Gavin here. Why don't you tell us about your flight today? It was actually really cool. It, the uh, the launch, it was like really nice air today, and going down the whites was great, as it always is, and then there was a nice convergence line, and we were flying fast, and then once you left black to go across the valley, you had to kind of, it, actually it was pretty nice going across, and then once you got over there, you really had to slow down. Slow down. And everybody dirted. So it looks like a great day. I mean, it's really too bad no one made goal, but I think, um, Points-wise, it well, should. Well, Mitch is still in the air. We don't, we, well, there is we, Mitch on, in the air, hopefully. You never know. He's a belligerent. <laughs> He's a bel Are he? you serious? Do you see him? Yeah, yeah he'll make it. He'll there make he goes. It. But uh, hopefully Mitch will make it. It'd be interesting to see what he does. He better stay high in the train because this wind would do some. Yeah. This is goal to HQ. We have a visual on pilot Mitch Riley in the air, en route to goal. And he's he got he's still going up. <laughs> and it was kind of nice not to have the pressure of brakes. I said, okay, well, I think I'm the only one in the air. Let's just finish this thing. What an epic flight. Oh, my God. Mitch Riley. If you want to drive, <laughs>